was impressed with the um, uh, ability of this product during the demonstration to absorb heat. Uh, the fact that it, uh, it knocked the fire down, but the fire stayed out. It didn't uh, rekindle or, or uh, it cooled it down so fast there wasn't no uh, rekindle to the fire itself. I've had car fires that have taken 500 gallons of water to put out. And when you can do it in a two and a, with two, two and a half gallon uh, water cans, that's, that's really impressive. And we had extreme uh, heavy fire conditions on it. We had flashover had already occurred. Ventilating to the rear of the building. Went in, knocked it down with one, with a simple uh, hit of the hose line and uh, just continued to work to the back of the building. Uh, in comparison, the water usage uh, probably would have used on that entire knockdown somewhere in the neighborhood of maybe 100 gallons, uh, used probably 25 to 50 gallons for the initial knockdown. We were able to advance in a minute and a half what it would have taken them 10 to 12 minutes to normally advance, and we used uh, about 25% of the water. We're impressed. We're impressed. Fire, and it's made by a company called Fire Freeze Worldwide. They're based out of New Jersey. Now, even though this product has not been approved by the FAA yet, this company is certainly showing off their invention. They came down here and gave it to the Broward County Fire Rescue, and these guys were really impressed, and they say one day it could save your life. 500 gallons of jet fuel on fire. Airport rescue crews raced to put out this place, but this time they have a new weapon, a chemical called cold fire. In a plane crash situation, it puts out the fuel, encapsulates the fuel instantly. Usually, firefighters use a foam called Triple F, but now they're trying this new liquid and putting it to the test. This wetting agent, from what we've seen tonight, it is done far superior than what we've been carrying for the last 20 to 25 years. The fires, you know, are producing all these BTUs, which is heat, and this wetting agent is absorbing it three times faster and cooling it three times faster than what we normally use in throughout the country. This fire burned for several minutes, but the temperatures got to be about two to three thousand degrees. Now, in a situation like this, firefighters wouldn't be able to touch these seats. But with this product, it's only been a few minutes, but it's already cool to the touch. In battling this training fire, we noticed the cold fire took away a lot of the heat allowing firefighters to get control of this place two to three minutes faster than using the foam. Rescue crews are impressed and say this new product could mean the difference between life and death. things you want to avoid is fire, especially if you drive one of these nitro funny cars. Well, they've had pretty good fire protection on them for a number of years, but recently they've come up with a new product called Cold Fire 302. It's a water-based, environmentally safe product that can be used in conventional fire extinguishers or the onboard systems like we have here on John Force's funny car. And John knows a lot about fires. The chemicals released through stainless steel lines that go to nozzles in front of the engine and back on top of the driver to cool them down in case of a fire. The manufacturer tells me that some of the drivers have even coated their driving gloves and their driving suits with this chemical before they go up to race. 
giving them an added bit of protection from heat. Even if it's a small advantage, it's going to be something that's welcomed by all drag race drivers. We had a big, we had a big head fire coming through the palmettos. It was really, you know, 15 foot flames, some hot fire. We let it get up to the edge, and I went along behind it, and it was burned halfway through a palmetto patch. And normally with water, you can't, you can't stop it. Well, I hit it once. It was about 125 GPM on the nozzle. I hit it once. That was it. No rekindle. It was out. We kept going. It was really faint.